Hey everyone, exciting video today, really important. If you look in the, uh, oh, by the way, Moo, how are you, man? Good, how are you? Sav, <laughs> Sean, we have an amazing video on tilt axis or side bend. Every tour player, male or, male or female, does this and you'll see in the, in the screen next to us how they have that impact position is in a way that allows them to go in that direction. That's where the money is. The money's over there at the target. This, when you watch or you go to your local driving range and you see the person going after the ball this way, that's because the ball is the target. And this over the top thing is not a defect. It's just you not on the right task. So we're gonna show you two very important um, drills that'll help you stay on task, which is delivering your shot to the target. Stay tuned. Before we start, Sav, <laughs> what she means to say is, please subscribe and move. Please uh, make sure you know, uh, press the notification button. Or else, a or sick else. him after you, okay? <laughs> so notification bell, yeah. subscribe, let's get to work. One of the, I did a video a while back in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. And uh, we were at the um, Tierra Rejada Golf Club. Oh, right? uh, well, that's one of my students told me how to say it that way. Oh, so you oh. have to. I went Tierra Rejada. No, 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 no. Tierra Rejada. Okay? Okay. So, and I respect. Yeah. Now, um, we, we did something. So if you get a ball cap or a visor. Now, Savvy, you're out because you didn't bring your visor. Okay, so you're out of this video. There's just, no sense. Just go, get out of here. <laughs> we don't need you. <laughs> All right, so the, the tilt in your visor or your sunglasses, you can use sunglasses, or if you've got regular glasses and you tip them down, you see the, the frame of your glasses, or you tip down the peak of your cap to see the peak of your cap. So Mu, I'm gonna start with you. Okay. So, <laughs> skipping away. <clears throat> so take your setup. And this is, uh, we're gonna pretend this is a door frame. You wait till we see what we got with this thing. So I'm gonna put a door frame here in front of you, yeah. right? And we put a ball right there in front of that door frame. Yeah. So you wanna feel like you're gonna sandwich that ball between the club and the door frame. Yeah. So where's your head to begin with? Right here. Right there. Yeah. So one of the things, if you've got a friend, this is the way you really want to hold the head. We're not trying to keep the head down we're keeping the head back on its tilt axis. So if I hold your head there, yeah. do a backswing and stop. So did everybody see how that turn around that axis, your butt, that tailbone, is gonna swivel toward the target. You feel that, right? So now from there, you want the weight just on the inside here, fantastic. Yeah. And now, so if I hold your head over here, yeah. go ahead and swing. Didn't that feel like everything was just spat out there? Yeah. So when I have a student on my teaching deck and they keep delivering the club into the ground and they can't get past the ground, that's because they're focused on trying to hit a golf ball. Yeah. So Yes, exactly. Yeah. So you see that on the range. Yeah, I'm if you're here, you're trying to go for the ball. The body doesn't lie. You see that on the range, you know what they're focused <clears throat> on. They're focused on hitting the ball. But when you see a real pro on the range, what they're focused on is ball flight into picture. That was Jack Nicklaus. He used to talk about, you know, you want to see a moving picture of the ball in the air. Yeah. So go ahead and set up again here, Moo. Okay. All right. So if you come to the door frame, yeah. <clears throat> Show me in slow motion how you're going to bust through that door frame. Good. So you can see how he's braced inside that lead leg. That lead leg helps him keep that head back. So if I push on the top of his head right now, right on this button here, yeah. the pressure is going to go there. Can you feel that? Yeah. So, and now you feel like you can really move through the door frame yeah. and along the surface of the ground. Yeah. You feel I, that, right? I feel that, yeah. Okay. You, you, are you keen? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm keen on it. He's got his safety glasses on, yeah. right? And we're going to bust through. This is a, a half inch by half inch balsa wood, so it's easy to bust through. Yeah. So his task is going to be on squeezing that ball through and along the ground in that direction. Okay? So where is it basically lined up? Basically just to the right of our academy building? Yeah. Okay. Yes, you saw how through that was. Yeah. Fantastic. Nice. <coughs> Crushed it. Look at that. Perfect divot. Yeah. Look, the stake was here, Moo. Right. So notice your divot came out after the stake. That's right. That's what you want. Right? Brilliant. So let me show you one right-handed. Awesome, man. Good job. Oh, yes, thank you. Gonna need those safety, safety goggles. That's right. Safety first, everybody. And make sure there's nobody else around, too. Now, the ball is basically going about 30, 40 yards. So, if you wanna do this in an open field, you won't have to go very far. So, I'm going down there. Notice how I'm braced against. See the peak of my cap and my glasses? I can see the angle of my glasses. So, watch as I swing back and through. Notice how this angle doesn't change. I constantly have access. What you'll see um, guys like Rory McIlroy do, um, Tommy Fleetwood does it really well. They start pretty square, and as they get to the top of the swing, you'll see the head tilt back. That's because they're going that way. So it's important that you feel that moving through the ball, you'll have access to that. So I get right up against this and I want to feel like I'm using the weight of the the arms and hammer to squeeze that through this door frame. Here we go. Oh that was nutted <laughs> and the ball just right and the thing just splintered beautifully. So the piece of wood where are we? Oh so I caught ball first then I started cutting grass, then I got through the door frame. So that really illustrates nicely where that door frame is supposed to be. So I'm here with the piece of wood. The ball is up against that. There it is. Mm -hmm. So I caught ball first, then I shaved grass through the door frame, and you can see that the low point is right out here in front of the door frame and the exit point is after that. So really a brilliant image as to what you need to do to get through and toward the target. It's the same for a lumberjack with a tree. You'd never see a lumberjack do this. So I got my tree, I got my ax. Look at where my head has to stay for me to go. Now, if my head moves forward, I'm just shaving bark down the tree into the ground. It's just not going to work. Same thing for driving nails into door frames. So we hope we, uh, we hope we, you guys enjoyed that. And um, on our premium channel, we have an incredible scene like this with the driver. Now, if you guys want to know the difference between through down and through with the irons like we just did, and you want to see the difference with the driver, go to www.wisdomingolfpremium.com. It's only $10 a month, and you have incredible uh, information like this from both angles, from face on and from down the line, so you get a really clear picture of what we're doing. So, hope you enjoyed that. See you next week.